Hello everyone and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. So last time we did get our solar panels finally after so much hard work we finally got them in place. Now we just gotta get them working and that will take a little bit of time unfortunately. So we are going to work on getting some more steel for our... there we go. So I was thinking because these bunker, this bunker door really doesn't work I'm going to de deconstruct it. Pop that there. And I'm probably going to put it up here more than anything because I do need space exposure, but I'm also pretty sure that we need to get those into um, up here. And because they aren't producing anything, I think they're going to need to be um, they're going to need to be exposed to space completely. And as you can see, they really aren't producing anything. Um, you can see our batteries are not are not charging pretty much. So that's going to take some time for them to mine this out. And in fact, again, I do want them to mine it out from the top to bottom. I don't like the fact that that's right there, to be honest with you. But there's not much I can do. Who is scalding and why are you scalding? Why are you going in here? Um, so that says it's going to erupt, but I actually don't think it can. Because it's so blocked off that nothing can come out of the volcano anymore. Which is nice actually for us because since nothing can come out of the volcano that means heat cannot go up anymore and as you can see body temperature tends to be a problem when heat can come around and that's not too bad for us as of right now frankly it could we could be off to a worse start now um we we are still waiting for this i again i think i'm going to shove a bunker door right here instead roughly about here here I think I'm going to shove a bunker door there instead, so that way we can get into some more some more space for us down here. And I don't think I have enough for a bunker door. I do not. But I do have s enough for four bunker tiles. And that should protect uh, our solar panels for the most part. Not completely, but enough so that way we could find... Um... I just lost track of my words. <laughs> so that way we, could, we can still produce power. It's going to take some time, most definitely, for us to get into that. Not as much time as... Is that, like, just a meteor shower? Like, a constant meteor shower? I don't like that. I don't like that. You don't need to do that. So we're going to do this all as 6, as 6, and as 6. So that way they will go up and get that. Because, again, once we get our solar panels going and tidy then we won't have as much of a problem anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and let them finish off that. So I have officially gotten the solar panels free, but I don't, it, they aren't producing anything. So I would like to put them up here because maybe they need to be up here instead. Uh, I don't quite know. So let's find out. We'll just shove a ladder up here and we will find out if this is the case because I did have them I did have them working on it and they did finish all of that up I also threw an ice maker here to help with the body temperature a little bit because the body temperature is becoming a big problem for our food and while we have a lot that's not necessarily enough to keep us going so we need to solve that problem um, so if we go up here they should be working on this and it shouldn't take them all that long because they're actually very quick um, and for some reason, they have now had the ability to hold their breath for a super long time, and I'm fine with that. And I also did throw a diffuser in here in the last episode, so that way they have a place to breathe here rather than having to go all the way down here. If this is the case and they just need to be higher, I don't mind that. The only issue I have is that we will need a lot more steel, um, because we're going to end up having to make a lot more bunker tiles to put above them and i don't know I, I it's just trial and error at this point because i don't quite know what um what's causing the problem here and as you can see i do like the little asteroids you can see like in the top left corner here i think those are a pretty cool uh detail that they they decided to add in i enjoy it we're also starting to run out of coal again um if we get closer to the uh, to the uh, 10 ton mark then i'm going to go ahead and start mining coal again because i would like to get more into our 
solar panels before I get into more coal. And again, replacing all of our... Th oh, hey, look at that. I guess we found the end, which means solar panels should work here and not here. And frankly, we can shove a whole lot of just bunker tiles up here, I think. I think that will be just fine. And um, once we have more steel in production, then we it should not be a problem. And actually, um, because we are reaching the top, we do get some more uh, iron. And that's actually not a bad thing. See, now we have a thousand, almost a ton. Actually, we do have a ton of... Here, we'll make six more of iron because it is up here and it keeps falling from the top and you can see there is a bunch here so that means that metal actually will never be a problem again well, needless to say it is slow but it's still a free resource that we did not need we did not have before now i want to see is this going to produce power because if so i'm just going to dismantle these and then line them up the same way i have here um, it could also be the fact that I don't have a, a full platform on them, but that doesn't seem to be much of a problem because it's not telling me it's not working. I don't quite know. So let's go into our heavy watt here. Use our, we'll use copper. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll bring it down into the ladder and then connect it off here. So that'll connect and they will do that and since they build wires really quickly that should be no problem at all now once we find out if this is the problem then we can again start straying away from coal and getting into different powers and start getting into a whole lot of um of new things and in fact we can actually probably put our space suits up here once we get into some power and what i'd like to do is set a room dedicated to it and you can see they are filling up these um, for the temperatures that I have set down because if we can stop the transfer of temperatures just a little bit then it'll help with bringing down our temps here as you can see it is helping it is helping to have that it is bringing down all of our temps not crazy fast but enough to make a difference because it is as you can see it does heat up but not as fast as it did before with a double insulated tile, we shouldn't be much of a problem anymore. And I'll shove two more right there. So let's go ahead and prioritize these up here as a six. So that way they get them done much faster. And since all that's a six anyways, that shouldn't be a problem. I don't know why this is an unreachable build. Because they do have a... Oh, can they not... They can run on... They can run on solar panels, but they cannot run... They cannot build under solar panels. That makes sense now. I understand that. So let's go here. And let's bring that in. The only reason I did build a platform here was so that way they could get up here and mine everything. And if it's if the problem is um if the problem isn't the fact that we're missing a platform, I'm just gonna have them dismantle that with uh, no issue at all. Uh, let's see, let's see. Temperatures are going down here, correct? They are, just very slowly. Mm, and all of that should turn back on and get our food sorted yet again as you can see we are eating more bristle berries than we are meal lice and i don't have a problem with that in fact i'd rather them eat the bristle berries so that way we can build up on the meal lice even though regardless food is going to be eaten no matter what we do once we handle our power and get everything powered up in that way, we are going to start handling our polluted oxygen and getting some ventilation systems going on. So we can change our stress just a little bit so that way they have no, they have no stress at all. Hmm. I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to think of what to do next. My brain is kind of, kind of fried because i did have to spend quite a little bit of time thinking as to what i was going to do here to try and fix our problem and again they build this so fast i don't really have a problem with it uh, if they did have some iron uh, copper or fall on here that w which they did actually it's perfect so they will be able to finish that pretty quickly nice and again i did decide to use this as our first solar panel power thing because as you can see down here 
it's practically done. I mean, we've already gotten rid of all of this polluted water, so our next course of action would be get rid of this polluted water, and we will pump that same way we did into here. Now, the only difference is we actually have filled up our water tank completely. There is no more water that's going to fit in there, and it's a good problem to have. Um, it doesn't look like our body temperature has dropped enough for them to be working now. All of this is warm, all of it, and that's not warm. That's weird, actually. Uh, I could shove another one of these here, but I, again, don't want to use that much power. Because then I may be biting myself in the butt. Oh, that's cool. They can now go over here and collect the copper ore that they see. That's nice. They're almost done with the ladders, as well as the sandstone, as well as the wires. They build very quickly because of how much they built. And I do like the fact that the leveling system does make them quick. In fact, a regular copper wire is probably going to be built almost instantaneously. Um, I do think that that means there is a meteor shower happening when those come on. Because that would make sense. A meteor shower happening when you see meteors flying across the screen. Now, I don't know if a solar panel, if it gets hit, if it takes damage. If it does, then we'll just have to have glass as a backup to keep us from having them damaged forever. There's only like three more wires. You guys, ooh, that went, yeah, it does get damaged pretty bad actually. That's not good. Awesome, cool. Okay, so it produces power. Uh, that's not nice. That's not nice at all, I didn't appreciate that. You know what this means? Bunker tiles. And we will have them definitely... So that was a pretty bad meteor shower. We're definitely going to have them dismantle all of this. And I will have them build a ladder here just to make sure that they can reach it. They're going to dismantle all of this. And they are going to fix all of this as well. And they shouldn't have... Uh, it shouldn't be, take that long. And I'm going to have them make some more glass. Um... I'm going to have them make 24 made 300 kilograms again. So I'm actually going to have them make 48 so we can start getting into more. Uh, come on. There we go. Perfect. Um, I don't think we have any more molts just yet and no more eggshells just yet. So that's unfortunate because we can't make any more of these. But do we have enough to make any more? We do. We can make. Th we can actually make nine. No, we can't. We can only make three. Uh, three of them. There we go. So we can make three more, which gives us enough, very much enough bunker tiles to cover up here. But as you can see, it did start making power. And that is actually amazing that they started making power. So we have started our solar generation. The only issue is, is the second that we started it, it decided it was going to have a meteor shower. So that's slightly unfortunate. But it could be worse, could be better. So the way I think I'm going to do it is I'm going to lay our bunker tiles first. Before we start laying the solar panels any more than what we have up here at least. So I would like to lay them in this direction and in this direction. So that way, there we go. One, two, mm, okay. That's fine. So that way this can't get hurt and this can't get hurt. If the ladder can't get hurt and my people can't get hurt, then we will be perfectly fine overall. So not that much of a worry. Um, if you could fix that, that would be great. But we did get our solar panels up and running, and that is exactly what we wanted to do today. And conveniently, conveniently enough, that is all the time I have for today. In the next episode, we are going to get into more solar panels and changing over all of our power. So that means that coal won't be as much of a problem anymore. And you can see the meteor showers do have a curve to them. So we do have to watch out for that. But I do hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys never miss one of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.